We're about to meet James and Stevie Lou, two students who have just finished Year 12. They think they're about to make a very simple documentary, but we've got other plans for them. Let's go and meet them. Hello, Nathan. I'm Hamish. James. Nice James. Stevie. Stevie. You guys just finished Year 12? Yeah. What are you going to do? I don't know. Maybe a gap year. <laughs> Unsure about your lives? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Right. I've cleared this with your parents. They've all said no problems with the following idea. We make a film on the Bachelor of Arts from Monash University. We go to some amazing places, meet some extraordinary people, inspire you a little, He's joking. and help you make a decision about the rest of your life. In? Yeah. You sure? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go. I think my careers advisor and my, my parents, they were guiding me towards things that existed. But the reality is what I'm doing now never existed back then. And I think that as you prepare for the future, it's less about knowing exactly what you want to do and more about knowing how you want to do it. I loved arts straight away. Found it really stimulating and interesting and um, finished my arts degree with a major in women's studies. When I think of humanities, I think of like history. Yeah, that's what I think geography. And like, yeah, and geography, like philosophy as I well. I think that's what school teaches us. Yeah. I think people-based courses are so important these days. I think everything's become dehumanised, but I think we need storytellers, we need to feel, and I think that the more contact, the more, the more humanity there is, it's the greatest thing we can have. And I think that acting and, and literature and language, are, they're all means of communication with other people, and I think that it's incredibly important. It's a melting pot of creativity, which is amazing. Now it's become so competitive, that ability to actually go and get that tertiary education is essential. The thing about travelling with archaeology was it realised that childhood ambition to go and do something adventurous with my life. I got to work with some amazing people in all these different countries. You know, if you study uh, Indigenous cultural heritage or you have a focus on Indigenous studies, I mean, that can take you to do archaeology and Indigenous studies or it could take you to anthropology. In an arts degree, you learn to learn. It's more than just acquiring knowledge. It's about acquiring skills to pick up knowledge that you need when you need it. But we're not going to camera, but we might be going to Singapore. Like, no. Seriously? <laughs> Melbourne for Singapore. <laughs> we're going to Singapore. What? They told us we were going to Canberra. This is crazy. And we were like, what? We're going to Canberra. <laughs> but no. We're going oh to Singapore. I just. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so how did I come to live in Singapore? It's a long story. I finished my arts degree in 1993. I did classical studies, you know, ancient Greek, Latin. I was the Middle East correspondent for Fairfax, living first in Jerusalem, then in Beirut. I met my wife in Bagram at the beginning of last year. Um, we came to Singapore. The careers that it could provide within DFA, developing policy, putting your thoughts forward, being involved in those sort of things, I think it's a fantastic uh, career and opportunity. After hearing from these amazing successful people, it, it's really taught me that there's no pressure and just to relax and do something like an arts degree because it's so valuable, the things you learn. Learning about all this this week has really made me think there's so much more to arts than I thought. You know, there's just a lot more under the surface. There are new jobs that are, are being created that weren't around two years ago, five years ago. An arts degree te teaches you to, to think laterally. It's good to think about your future employment in a lateral way as well. It's just, it's crazy to think that there are so many different places that an arts degree can get you. The beauty of arts is you can sort of work things out a bit as you go and give yourself great opportunities. So there are 40 odd majors or something. Yeah, yeah. If you wanted to get into journalism, it's a great way to go. Broadcasting, writing, I think it's just a great degree that allows you to keep your options open. So after the week you've had, are you going to study arts? Yeah, yeah. definitely. What's your major going to be? 
choose one. I'm definitely going to do Jordan Screen. Oh yeah? Definitely. Screen. Yeah. This will shock everyone at home, but archaeology. Had you even contemplated it before the week? No, never. Did you know it existed? I knew, like in movies and stuff. <laughs> Indiana Jones. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> That's the week. Is that the week? Is that the week? Oh, that is the best, honestly, the best week ever.